Welcome to the 4-Minute Southern Cook, brought to you by House Autry Breaders, the choice of seven cooks since 1812. You know, one of my best memories when I was young was going to my grandparents' house and eating the food my grandmother made. Now, one of my absolute favorites was her southern fried chicken. Nothing like the wonderful aroma of homemade fried chicken to bring the whole family to the table fast. Now, when I started cooking for my own family, I always thought frying chicken was complicated and difficult. Well, today I'm here to show you that I couldn't have been more wrong. With House Autry Chicken Breader Mix, you can have homemade, seasoned, southern fried chicken on your table in just minutes. The first thing you'll need, of course, is chicken. You don't have to go out and get those premium cuts. Uh, for this recipe, I'm gonna be frying up drumsticks and thighs. But breasts and wings will work too. Now, this recipe serves up two or three people and takes about five minutes of prep and 15 to 20 minutes to cook. You'll need three drumsticks and three thighs, house autry chicken breader mix, and corn oil. Now, I'm using an electric skillet for this, but any deep frying pan will work. Now, I prefer corn oil over vegetable oil because the corn oil turns the chicken a beautiful golden color. A good rule of thumb to use when you're frying is to make sure that your oil fills up no more than a quarter of your pan or skillet. You want to pour in enough oil so that it covers about half of your chicken, which is about a quarter inch in the bottom of your skillet. Turn your skillet to medium high, and if you're using a frying pan, you want to make sure that it's about 360 degrees. While that's heating up, you're going to pour your breader into a bowl and set it to the side. Now, you'll take your chicken and you're gonna moisten it with a little water, shake off the excess, and dredge it through the mix until it's thoroughly coated on both sides. So there's no milk, no eggs, no batter. It is so easy. Now, make sure that your oil is the right temperature. So take a pinch of your breader and drop it into your oil. It should bubble up quick and turn a nice golden brown. So take your chicken and you're going to gently place each piece in your skillet. And you wanna make sure that there's no crowding and make sure that your oil can flow around all of your meat. So it's been about 10 minutes. You can gently turn each piece of chicken on the other side and let it cook for another eight to 10 minutes. Once that side is a nice golden brown, you can take your chicken out of the skillet. Now you wanna use new tongs. You don't wanna use the same tongs that you used on the raw chicken. Gently take each piece out and place it on a wire rack lined with paper towels to absorb any excess oil. Now, doesn't that look fabulous? Now that is Southern fried chicken, just like my grandmother used to fix. And it's so fast with House Autry. The best thing is, it's seasoned absolutely perfect. You don't have to add a thing. After all, House Autry has been perfecting their mixes for nearly 200 years. Thanks for visiting the 4 Minute Southern Cook. You can find this and other delicious recipes and cooking ideas at houseautry.com.